Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to be providing an introduction overview of using Tumblr here in 2014. For those of you who don't know, Tumblr is a micro blogging platform which basically means it's a website where you can build your own blog but you don't have to spend a lot of time designing the layout and the color scheme. You can pretty much use a cookie cutter design templates for that and get right to posting content. So pictures, videos, text, quotes, all that sort of good stuff. So it's great for people that are new to blogging, it's also good for business that are looking for a quick marketing platform to use to get their message out. So I have a couple of tumblers open here just for you to take a look at. The White House has a tumbler. It's mostly just pictures of President Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama, uh, some other things going on at the White House. So you can see there's just pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Then I also have a, a different type of tumbler open here. It's called Hot Dog Legs. It's kind of a comedy tumbler that makes fun of the photos of knees that people take and they say, hey, is there, are they legs or are they hot dogs? And so it's just all pictures of that. And you can see that somebody here has like legs with ketchup on it but um, so you can see how different these tumblers look one is basically all images the other one also has some text and then as we go into tumblr you'll see that you can also add quotes and that sort of stuff as well so to get started you need to go to tumblr.com that's t-m-u-b-l-r.com and go ahead and sign up for a tumblr account this is what the tumblr homepage looks like and for those of you who are signing up for a brand new account tumblr might walk you through kind of the process of initially setting up your account which it's probably a good idea to go ahead and follow that a little bit it'll help you really get started but for this tutorial i'd like to start here at the tumblr homepage because i'm going to go over kind of all the links in here and just give you a basic overview of where everything is within tumblr so you'll notice that on the home page, we're on the home page up here at the top where it looks like a house symbol, we can tell because it's highlighted in white. This is where we're going to see updates for other people that we follow on Tumblr. So just like on Facebook or Twitter, you can actually follow other Tumblrs and you get to see their updates that they post on their Tumblr account. So this is where all that information would come in, up here on the home button. Now if I get any new messages, they're going to come in here where my inbox is. If I'm looking for help, I can click on this button. I can change my settings by clicking on the gear icon. You'll notice that takes me to the settings there. And I could log out by clicking this button right here. So let's go back to the home page here. And you'll notice that right from this home page, I have this block up here at the top. This is where I can post content. So I could post text, photos, quotes, links, audio files. I could start a chat, which is kind of like a, a threaded uh, message back and forth and I could also post videos but hey what does my actual blog look like we're looking at posts from other people so to see what your blog looks like over on the right sidebar at the top you'll notice that it will say the name of whatever your blog is when you initially set up your tumblr account so mine's ansonalex.com ansonalex.tumblr.com so if I actually click on this link right here it's going to take me, uh, the ansonalex.tumblr.com, it's going to take me to what my Tumblr actually looks like. So here's the ansonalex.com Tumblr. Now I haven't updated this in a long time. Uh, I'm using Tumblr for some other things now and hopefully I'll get to updating this, but I spent enough time updating my actual website. So, so I haven't updated this in a while, but you can see here's what my Tumblr looks like. So if I go back to my homepage. Let's say I just wanted to um, add a new quote to my Tumblr homepage and let's say the quote is just if you can dream it you can do it and that was by Walt Disney so I'll go ahead and put his name down here at the bottom and then you notice that I can edit my text and I can add links and images in here but I just want to add this one quote so I'm gonna go ahead and post it so you all can see what this looks like and now you'll see that uh, here on my home page I clicked we're actually on the posts page now because we posted something here on Tumblr. So we added a, some, a quote, even though it could have been a photo, a link, any sort of thing like that. So it actually automatically brought me to my post. But if I go to the AnsonAlex.com Tumblr and I refresh it, you'll notice that at the top I have this quote that says, if you can dream it, you can do it. And it's kind of formatted pretty cool. And that's automatic by Tumblr. I didn't specify how to format this like a quote, but Tumblr does it automatically. And that's why it is a micro blogging platform. So this area right here is where you can add a new posts to your Tumblr, whether it's text, photo, quotes, links, whatever you wanna do, uh, videos even. You can add it by going to this area right here. To view all of your posts, you can see we can click on the post button right here. Now remember, if we want to get back to see posts of other people, just go ahead and click on the home page. You'll notice it takes you back to the posts of other people. It also has my post here as well that I just added. Now let's say we wanted to change the design of our Tumblr. So you can see here's my Tumblr right now. If I go back to my home page, I can click on this customize button over here to the right. 
and that will take me to a dashboard where I can change all of the information about my Tumblr page. So uh, up here at the top, I'm currently using a template called Optica. So if, if I wanted to change that, I could click on the Browse Themes button down here, and I could look at a whole bunch of other themes and I could just change to one of them. So if I click on, say, a different theme, you'll notice that automatically my blog on the right changes. Now I haven't saved this yet. If I wanna save this, I wanna hit this Use button over here at the right. And when I click Use, I actually need to save this changes up here. So remember, you need to hit Use and then Save. So that is how you can change your template here in Tumblr. Now if we scroll down, we could change the title of our page easily here as well as the description. You can see in this theme, the description shows up on the right side of my page. We also have an accent color, which as you can see is up here at the top. I could change that. I can edit all the different design elements of my Tumblr blog right from this dashboard. You can see that we have a number of options. Do we wanna have two column posts or just one column post? We could turn that off or on. You've got all of these different options over here on the left. And when you're ready, you're just gonna hit save to save your changes on your Tumblr blog. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna change my theme back to Optica because I do actually like that one for now. And I'm gonna use that and save it. And once I'm finished making all my changes, I can go ahead and hit the exit button here on the Tumblr design dashboard. So you can see how easy it is to post things and then to customize your Tumblr blog. Uh, we uh, Again, we can post with any of these buttons right up here at the top. We can edit our blog by clicking on the customize button over here to the right. Now, if you want to start following people, you'll notice that I'm currently following three blogs down here. It has some recommended blogs for you to follow down here at the bottom. And so these might be people that are in a similar industry to what I am or also doing technology. I could also search Tumblr. So I could search Tumblr right up here at the top for technology. And you notice that blogs just start appearing. So we've got Tech Ed, Think Tech Ed over here. That's pretty cool, I'm in Tech Ed, I like that. So I go to this Tumblr, you can see this Tumblr is again very different. We now have a three column layout. They aren't putting too many posts on their main page. We have to click older to go see older posts from them. And um, we've got a video here. Um, so you can see this is a pretty cool blog. So I could go ahead and I could follow this here on Tumblr. And now when I go to my Tumblr homepage, you'll notice, I don't know if we're gonna see any posts, there we go, I now have a post from the Tech Ed blog. So that is, those are the posts that are gonna show up on this homepage, the blogs that I follow. Um, so again, you can search for them, you can use the recommended blogs down here at the bottom, or if you've got some friends using Tumblr, you can get their Tumblr address, their, you know, the address for their blog, so mine's ansonalex.tumblr.com, and then you can go ahead and follow their Tumblr account. So again, Tumblr's a micro-blogging platform, very easy to set up, uh, just create an account, pick your theme, and then you can start posting whatever you want. You can post photos, you can post your videos. Um, so it's a great tool for people who are just getting started in blogging. Uh, it's super, super quick. Businesses that don't yet have a web presence, maybe you're building a website, you could set up a Tumblr in the meantime just to get your message out there and have something on the web for people to look at. Uh, so I hope this video helped. If it does, I would appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. If you wanna see more advanced features of Tumblr, let me know and I can turn this video into a video series. For those of you who watched my Dropbox video, my overview, uh, I mentioned that in that video too and I've gotten so many responses saying, hey, we want a series, we want a series. So I'm going to turn Dropbox into a series. I'm going to definitely add some advanced tutorials on using Dropbox and I definitely will do the same for Tumblr if that's the response I get in the comment section here on YouTube and on AntsonAlex.com. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials videos, also remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AntsonAlex.com.